Okay, so I'm here today with the KS006837 in 1 new sensor kit. And to be honest, this box is a little bit bigger than I was expecting. Bought this off Amazon, and uh, I've said before, if I have the opportunity to choose between something generic and something Key Studio, I usually try to give Key Studio the chance. Uh, and so I did talk to them. For those of you guys that don't know, I spent a lot of time working in the nonprofit world, so. For me, there's never any shame in asking. So uh, what I asked is if they'd give one of these to the group. And so they're going to give one to our Arduino Facebook group. So there'll be a link to the contest to enter to win one of these. But this one I bought off Amazon. And so we'll do a little unboxing and see what's in it. Now, just to tell you why I bought this, I kind of wanted to challenge myself to see if I could hook all 37 sensors up to a Mega. And so I have no idea what that's going to look like or even what I would do with it, but I just thought it'd be kind of a fun challenge to see if I could get them all to work. And so we're going to take, there's another one of those double knives. I think I showed you one in a different video, but it's pretty awesome. It has two knife things at the top. This is the old one. I've used this one on drywall and roofing. I have a clean one that's usually on the desk, but it's MIA at the moment. So we're going to use the jacked up knife and we're going to take the plastic off. And the Key Studio... Okay, so we have the typical Key Studio green box, uh, sensor kit for Arduino, open source hardware. It intends to have anyone make funny projects. Well, I love making funny projects. So let's see what we got. Um, okay, that can just stay there. So we have the book, color photos of the different sensors and telling you what they are. I might be referring to that for the ones that I can't recognize off the top of my head. So it does look like it has some kind of quick start. It's got a summary, and it's got a list of the sensors, and then how to download the Arduino IDE. Now, I'm not sure. I'm kind of interested in knowing if they chose to use the normal C-based Arduino IDE or if they're using the drag and drop. So, this is cool. Every single one of these is like a little individual, uh, a little individual container. Uh, usually, they just kind of throw them in the box. So, we have a... Uh, we have, what is that? That's an LED that looks like an RGB LED. <laughs> Might be a little hard to take every single one of these out of the package, but we have the RGB LED and that's the dome style. So that's the one, you know, it's basically a, a five millimeter uh, normal RGB LED, not something like a WS2812 or whatever it is. Um, we have a, it looks like a microphone. And Let's see what that is. This is an IR switch. So infrared switch. There is this a little teeny tiny PIR sensor. Look how cute that is. So a little PIR motion detection sensor. And this is an infrared receiver. And oop, that looks like a Bluetooth sensor. So let's see, we have uh, BT board verse version 2.0. So HCO5, HCO6, HCO1. Let's see, let's get it right. Let's not guess. Uh, this is a Bluetooth module. Do they tell you which one it is? They do not. It just says uh, Bluetooth module. So let's let's pop this one out. This looks a little smaller than a, than a five. So I'm sure we'll cover this when we do the Raid My Lab for Bluetooth, but um, Evan Kale and Brian Locke, I always thought his name was Brian Lowe, uh, have talked about taking these cheap Bluetooth modules and flashing them so that they can be keyboards and things like that. And so this is an HC05, and if we look at it, it's pretty identical. It might be a slightly different variant of that, but it is basically the same module. And so what I do with these things, I take these cheap modules and I have a little paper clip or, or not paper clip, uh, clothespin type thing that you can basically drop down here on the chip itself and reprogram it with different firmware and stuff like that. Another thing they don't make anymore, this is an Adafruit thing called a, a Blue Fruit Easy Key, which is a very cool way to make Bluetooth HID devices. So, okay, enough of that rant. Um, let's go to the next compartment. We have, this is an LED. Uh, it doesn't say what color it is there. It's just a 
regular LED. Maybe, uh, it almost looks like four millimeter. It doesn't look like five, doesn't look like three. Uh, okay, so we have a, is that a rotary encoder? Or? That is, I'm gonna rip this one out of the package. I'm sure this is riveting video. So if you've made it this far, I just wanna say you are freaking awesome because uh, it's kind of hard to, to know <laughs> to watch a bunch of sensors, but I think it's fun. This is a, so this is a, ro they call it a rotation sensor. So I'm guessing it's some kind of rotary encoder. And so we'll play with that a little bit. Let's see here. We have a touch sensor. So boop, boop, you know, just a little touch sensor. Uh, this looks like a LED or a infrared trans transmitter. Um, so yeah, infrared transmitter. This is another rotary encoder type thing. So hold on, one of these gotta be a potentiometer. So the last one, I'm pretty sure was the rotary encoder. No, this is the rotary encoder. The other one calls it a rotational sensor. So I don't, I don't really know the difference off the top of my head. Uh, we'll find out. So let's, let's put them side by side here. So this one, uh, one uses a D type thing. The other one uses a, a splined, uh, splined, um, shaft on it and so this one says VR sensor and this one says RE so rotary encoder and then VR variable resistor maybe potentiometer I don't know uh, it sounds like a potentiometer to me uh, let's see this is hmm this one might need to be unpackaged also this one says it says UI UI Huh, all right, let's look at the package here. UI, we're gonna find out what this thing is. This is riveting. At least, think about it, I'll tell you what, while, while I'm figuring this out, think about what you're gonna do with all these different sensors when you win the contest here. Uh, this is a TEMT 6000 sensor, which I think is a temperature sensor, maybe barometric pressure. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so that's that. All 37 sensors can be yours if the guess is right on the website. This is cool. I've never seen this module. I've never seen, let's see, this is a three watt LED. Three watts is a big honking LED module. That thing, that is a honking, it's so honking that the camera can't even focus on it. That is a giant LED module for a kit like this. I've never seen one of those in a kit before. Okay, we have a speaker, a buzzer. We have, this looks like some kind of vibration or magnetic sensor. Let's see what this one is with the little bar there. So this is a knock sensor. Yep, knock sensor. I don't know if you can hear that in the camera. That's a shaker vibration sensor. This is, a, this is an LM35 temperature sensor. This is your standard ultrasonic sensor. These things that are on the front of all the robots and stuff. So we have an LED and another kind of buzzer. This looks like a speaker. Yeah, it's a buzzer. Maybe I pulled that one out already. Uh, this is, looks like an 18B20. This, uh, this looks to me like a DS18B20 temperature sensor. This is a gas, probably carbon monoxide sensor. This is the DS18B20. So let's see, this other one here is... Do, 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 do. This one is... It's got the little thingy sticking out the front. Where is it? There we go. Hall magnetic sensor. So that's a Hall magnetic sensor. There's a carbon monoxide. There's the DS18B20. You have the joystick module with the little cap. This one, this is a different little thingy sticking out the front. That's a tinier, I don't know, I have to open that so you can see it. So this one, focus has that little teeny tiny nubbin sticking out the front. And that is called an analog temperature sensor. So goodness, that's a tiny little thing sticking out of that board. Uh, okay. We have a clicky button. 
tactile switch. We have, uh, this looks like an IR line follower. One of the little things that goes on the robots. This is a different kind of gas sensor. So they always have that MC05 or whatever that thing is called. Uh, whatever the normal carbon monoxide sensor is. But this one's orange. So if it's orange, it's got to be something special. So the, the, one, the regular one is called a gas sensor. And this one is called an alcohol sensor. So you can figure out how much tequila your friends have been drinking, I guess. Uh, maybe you put it on your friend's car and don't let them drive, something like that. Uh, this one is an, let's see, they call it an ADXL345. It just looks like a chip on the board. I don't see any kind of sensor. Could be some LEDs. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, we got VSCS. Okay, let's see here. The This one, the, the reason why I got this kit is because it had things I had never seen before. So... You know, let's let's see what the things I don't know are. This one Okay, right here. This is an <laughs> it just says ADXL three forty five module. So I'm sure right about now I'll be flashing on the screen what in the world an ADXL module is. Uh this one looks like a real time clock or something like that. It's got a little yellow thing on there so let's see that little yellow thing this is a clock module so that you can i normally hook these things up to raspberry pis not arduinos but you can hook them up to an arduino uh so this is another touch sensor this one has uh has a lot more little touch space on it oh there's something else buried down there this is a uh photo cell a photo resistive cell i guess you'd say that's another vibration sensor this is another infrared sensor. So this is another line follower type sensor. And we have an IR transmitting LED. And two more. There's the ubiquitous DHT11 temperature sensor. Or, yep, that's a DHT11 temperature sensor. And last but not least, we have a relay. And I love these relays. Eventually, whenever the computer decides in Raid My Lab, we're going to have a whole video about relays. So they have the code. I'll probably talk a little bit about the code. And then eventually in a future video, I will see if I can hook all 37 sensors up to one mega and try to do something useful. So we'll see.